Welcome back to the channel guys. Quick little build update on the 250 mini quad that I've been working on. Apologies for the delay in this, I just haven't got around to it, but we're making some progress. Now, this is the cheap QAV250 quad or ZMR250 clone uh, I posted earlier. I'll post a link to the video below. And I'm pretty impressed with it so far. So what I did, I'll give you the quick overview. I screwed up. I put the motors and ESCs on the arms, but I neglected to remember that this particular quad actually does have the reverse thread on two motors. So it matters which way you have them. Uh, you can't just reverse the wires. Uh, well, you can, but it matters where you put them. And it happened that I got a bang on. So we've got counterclockwise thread on these two, and that lines up with the uh, standard thread on the nut. So cool, got lucky. Sure enough, the other ones were bang on too. Totally lucky. The way I figured it out is I used this little servo tester and I'll show you how I did it. So I've got the ESE plugged into the benchtop power supply here because, it's, well, it's just easier than a LiPo. And what I did is you simply plug these into any servo tester. This is the, the Turnigy one. And once we're initialized, we should be able to use the servo tester to operate the motor. Sure enough. And we've got clockwise rotation on this motor. Exactly how it should be. Thumbs up. Pretty cool. So I just repeated this on all four motors and I was able to verify my directions without having the CC3D and receiver and everything plugged in. Little tidbit for you. One of the problems I ran into, there's not enough room in between the plates for the power distribution board. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on the bottom here for lack of anything better to do. Uh, I'm, I could just hook the wires direct, but I think I'll use the PDB and insulate it from the quad and then I'll insulate it from the ground. I'll have to protect it with some protective covering, but unless you guys have got a better idea, I think this is the best. Keep it out of the way. Um, tempted to just not use it, but hey, whatever. We have it. Let's use it. So that's pretty much where we sit. I'm going to go ahead and get the flight controller, the CC3D hooked up, as well as my cameras. I'll use a Mobius camera on the top and I'll use this board cam on for the FPV portion of it with this little 200 milliwatt 40 channel transmitter that you saw in the previous mailbag video. These are This is the FEO 800 TV line, really good camera. I love these. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. I think it's gonna perform like a little champ. Why not? It's cheap, it's gonna be good fun. Um, I think it's going to be kind of neat for not only just racing, but I, I'd like to use it as a, a scout when I do any kind of search and rescue stuff, like looking for lost planes. I can get out there and take a zoom around really quickly with this. And then I also have the Mobius on top to record the full 1080 video. Let me know what you guys think, guys. If you guys got any suggestions or input, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. Cheers, guys.